Hey guys, welcome back in Tech Learning, and in this video, I'm going to learn about the create widget or how you can use that grouping codes. Okay, there's a lots of grouping code, and it's totally very easy but very useful also. The first thing we found a code that construct node that is basically create widget node. Second one is add to viewport. Third one is a reference uh, variable of the UI, and the fourth one is basically the set visibility. So let's see how you can use them. How you can use them? So first, that for that, I already created a UI that is basically simple. That right mouse user interface and create a simple user blueprint. Now just think that whatever I did at here, like I add a button simple, okay, for example, and I want to display this uh, this button in my screen or in my game. How can I do that? So for that, I need to connect this UI with my player or even I need to create that. So for do that. What you need to do is basically very simple. Just go to Event Graph and just search Create Widget. Once you come, you find here that class, and you can set here that UI. Also, you, there's a one more blueprint code available that all widget from class. Okay, this is also a very useful one. Okay, so we have this that Create Widget. Now this widget we, we can create, but we need to connect it with our viewport. So just add to viewport. Okay, then it will be connected like this. Add to viewport. Then, if you want to save your reference this UI, you can do it like this. Okay, connect it like this. Just create a like promote a variable, or you can create a widget, so it will be work. Okay, now just think that at here you want to also in future like with any of key you want to uh, visible or disable this, or you know you want to hide your or visible your widget. How you can do? So for example, you can add a H keyboard, uh, H key. And I want that like when I press first time the edge, it should be dis uh, you know visible my or it should be disable my uh, widget. So we can duplicate that and with set visibility we can change here like collapse, hidden, on heat. Okay, there's a lots of an available. So like that we need can we can do like this. One is uh, visible and second one is hide. We need just simply connect it with like this. Just the target and the fourth one is get all widget from class what did we do whenever you create a widget it have data in our class so you can call that ui that okay i need that ui reference for example you didn't say like this but now you want that ui ref so what you can do so you can get a copy and once you get a copy you can write the same thing okay it will give you the same result okay so that is also totally useful if you if you just because some of cases like you want you create your ui in your game mode but you also want to control that from your player or even some other path you can do with this method also with this method you can call that any of variables if the ui contains anything okay so i just hope you understand how you need to do the, or how you need to use the widget class or widget blueprints thank you so much for watching guys love you all bye bye see you in the next video